We're back. 32 degrees out here this morning. Dad's getting hooked up. Oh, I don't have my sunglasses. Dad's getting hooked up to the uh, fuel trailer right now. And uh, we'll be headed over to the field, start a morning process. Oil's good. the combines are ready to roll hit some grease irks and uh, did some housekeeping in the cab and we're all ready to go I got to run up to Berkey's to grab a couple parts dad needs a couple new skids for his draper head before he can start rolling and uh, dew is pretty heavy actually there's a pretty decent frost so still wet can't cut beans I'm gonna zip up to Berkey's real quick grab some parts and uh, by the time I get back should be cutting Well, we're back here at the field. Um, I'm gonna start cutting beans. I wish this cab was a little bit bigger. I uh, got my drone here and this case is taking up quite a bit of room here. I've had some people ask me what kind of drone I use and I'll just show you here. DJI Phantom 4. And that's about it, I guess. Got a 4K camera. Uh, it's probably a six, seven year old drone. It's pretty nice. Does a pretty good job out here flying around. Although I'm a pretty good pilot, so. All right, enough of the talk in here. Let's start cutting beans. Turn the head on here. A little throttle. And now we're rolling. duster basically just microfibers on a stick here kind of and uh, use it on your windows kind of like this so obviously you don't want to do it when it's wet so like when we go home of a night this I, mean, I haven't used it I just got this this morning so um, I've just heard people talk about it and say to get one so what you do is you take this thing before you go home at night, wipe off your windows, wipe all the dust off of them, and uh, they stay clean. I'm tired of going through bottles of window cleaner and paper towels, so I'm sure it's pretty good to do the wipe down like a few times in the year, but you know, I clean my windows every morning and start going through a lot of paper towels, a lot of window cleaner, so 
got one of these, gonna try it out. Um, there's really not any dust on the inside here, but should work pretty good. So tonight, when these windows are all dusty, I'll just take this thing, wipe them all down. Uh, you wanna do it at night when the windows are dry because if you come in of a morning, the windows are gonna be all wet and damp from the dew and frost and whatever. So it ain't gonna work that way. You gotta do them when they're dry. moving right along today and we've probably got about 50 acres left in this field we're in and we've got two more fields to do and that'll be the end of the soybean harvest so the days of cutting soybeans are almost over and uh, I'm getting pretty anxious to get into some corn so next week for sure uh, whether or not it's Monday afternoon Monday later Monday I would say for sure Tuesday we'd be picking corn excuse me corn's a lot more faster pace than beans. Go, go, go and corn. You can go early, you can run late. Got to get the chisel plow all fired up when we start picking corn. So, a lot going to be going on. So, Dad and I, we kind of been trying to do a comparison uh, with his draper head, the air reel versus mine. And yes, there is a difference. Uh, I do think we're going to get another air reel for this head. So, it's enough of a difference for us to get another one. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you can go behind his head and you can see a couple of beans. And then you look behind mine, you'll see probably, you'll probably see four to six to his two to three, if that makes any sense, uh, behind the head. And in some areas, a lot of the times, there's nothing behind his, but uh, I will have some head loss. So, I don't know, it really just all depends. And, uh, I do know keeps his sickle bar spotless. I mean, if I raised up mine at the end and stop, uh, you can go out there and look and there's just beans laying all on the whole front of the sickle bar. Uh, his is just clean, there's no beans on it. And uh, I know when they're dry like this, it, uh, it sure does pay, I think. So, also, I mean, when you're comparing them, you gotta make sure that your reel isn't just shattering beans when you're sitting here going, because they're dry, I mean, 11%, 10% beans here. Um, 
if you got your reel too fast or too low, it's just going to shatter and you're going to have beans all over the place. But you can kind of see now here, I'm just kind of raking the top of these beans and they just lay them on the belt. So just trying to do as good of a job I can. We look behind the machines. We're not seeing any beans. Uh, maybe see one or two in like two feet area. But for the most part, uh, everything's going pretty darn good. I don't like loading on this side, but I'm doing it. It's kind of blind side, you can't see the grain. This side's higher than the other, and it's got a tarp. Just kind of got to go back and forth, make sure I'm just not piling it up in one area. Had to get emptied out because I'm going to be working on this side and dad's going to be covering that. And he wants to cover that side because he's been working on that angle already. So when he gets done, it'll match out perfect on his guidance. And since we got two different size heads, I don't want to screw that up over there. So I'll just work to the east, get this triangle all knocked out, and he'll be ripping back and forth there on the west side. Well, we've almost got her done. That's dad right up there. Should have this wrapped up here. Oh, looks like he's logged in. Uh-oh. I better put the camera down and stop, stop talking about how good it's doing right now because I feel like every time I do that, things don't go right. So we're just going to keep on rolling here, see what we get done. Um, we do have a truck here. Yeah, we'll be able to finish this all. So I'll check in when we're done. There it is. Last pass of this field, last pass of the night. And as of right now, we have 240 acres of soybeans left to cut. And uh, we're not gonna be able to finish it all tomorrow uh, because tomorrow's Sunday. So elevator doesn't open till noon. Uh, and since the elevator ain't gonna be open till noon, you can't really start early and you can't get that much done. So, and they close early six o'clock i think instead of seven yeah anyway not gonna be able to finish it all up tomorrow but uh yeah should be finished up with beans on monday and hopefully we can wrap it up at a decent time on monday and switch it on over to corn Alrighty, well that wraps up today's video um i'm gonna use my new california dash duster here uh that i showed you this morning on the windows and i'm gonna be out of here so that's gonna be it for this video Thanks for watching. Uh, give it a thumbs up, hit that sub button down below, and we'll see you next time.